Our armed forces are stronger today because of the perseverance of Dr. King and so many others in this country who have fought for civil rights and equality for all. Today we mourn his loss, we celebrate his legacy, and we pledge to fight for his dream of equality, freedom, justice, and peace. And I want to shift the focus back to the purpose of, of this holiday, and that is national unity. Uh, it's about public service. As long as Martin and I knew each other, we were talking about the tremendous damage that war does to those who participate in it, to those who are the victims of it, to those who lose tremendous possibilities in their own lives because of it. I refuse to accept the cynical notion that nation after nation must spiral down a militaristic stairway into the hell of nuclear annihilation. done a job as usual so we have given them total authorization we've seen so many folks with their own political agendas and their own narratives basically trying to cherry pick dr king's legacy to fit their own agenda i knew that america would never invest the necessary funds or energies in rehabilitation of its poor so long as adventures like Vietnam continue to draw men and skills and money like some demonic destructive suction tube. So I was increasingly compelled to see the war as an enemy of the poor and to attack it as such. 